Hey, it's Matt at Roughhouse Studios, and welcome to the Product Spotlight KS5000 LED Grow Light from Viper Spectra. This video is sponsored by Viper Spectra. If you'd like to learn more about their LED grow lights, you can find them at viperspectra.com. Now, the first thing we're going to do is unbox this big old box. This is a pretty large light. It's a 40 inches by 40 inches the light is itself, so it's a pretty good sized box. But fortunately, it folds in half, so they were able to pack it in a little smaller container than you might think. And you don't have to put it together. Some other lights are fully disassemble and they're a little harder to put together. But this one's pretty easy to unpack. And then you can just unfold it as simple as that when you're ready to install it. A really nice looking aluminum frame. Got those thin bars with the LED lights on it. And then there's a separate package which contains some accessories like the hanging utensils for both the driver and the light itself. And then there's the driver. There's also some adapters for other kinds of outlets. There's some cables. There's one as a power cable and one is a telephone type cable to connect it to controllers. Got everything you need there to get a light going. So we're gonna take a closer look at it here in a second. There it is. That's everything that comes in the box with the Viper Spectra KS5000. Next, we're gonna take a closer look at the features and functions. Uh, what we're looking at there is the driver. The driver is encased inside of it there, and it's suitable for dry, damp, and wet areas and locations. It's got a 500 watt actual draw from the outlet. It's got a dimmer knob on the front with four different settings, and then an extension setting. And that extension setting is for when you have it attached to controllers. Okay, now we're going to hang the light and the ballast, well, I always say ballast, but the driver up, the LED driver. And you can see it's uh, intended to hang, which is uh, really nice. It keeps it uh, free floating and keep the heat down as it's uh, floating in the air. And it does include some hangers to hang it. I'm hanging it over the side of one of the bars at the top of the tent. So it is hanging towards the front of the tent and it'll be really easy for me to reach in and to adjust it. Uh, temperature setting not temperature but the light settings inside there and when it comes to hanging the actual light i'm going to there's four hooks one on each corner of the light so i'm hanging the ratchet straps at an equal distance sort of at the end of the where the light will be hanging and i'll adjust it when i get it when i get it hang pulled up and hung up properly and so then i can just attach it on the ground and then just go around to each corner and pull it up a little at a time it's real easy and a, a good way to make sure you don't hurt anything the light or anything like that so now i'm just adjusting it and trying to get it centered into the tent and then also at an equal distance from the ceiling i'm giving myself about eight to ten inches at the top there plenty of room for airflow at the top and then that also gives me plenty of room for the distance between the driver and so it's not real close to the lights and you can see it's a real nice looking array. It almost completely fills this four foot by four foot tent. And that's what it's rated for. And you can see the driver there hanging separate and enough distance from it. I really like this setup. It's very clean, very neat. And yeah, really impressed by this. Now we're gonna have to try it out. Okay, so now we have the light turned on and it's a really bright light even with an ND filter on my camera it still almost washed everything out there so I'm going to adjust that filter down a little bit more so that we can sort of see the array of LED lights this does have Samsung LED for the 3k and the 5k and then it's got Osram for the red LEDs and you can see at the at the ends of the light bars they increase the density of the LEDs so that it gives you less fall off. Let's look at the features. We have 500 actual watt power draw. It will replace a 1000 watt high pressure sodium or metal halide. It vegetates at four foot square and flowers at four foot square rating. Uh, the Samsung LM301H 3K and 4K LEDs with the Osram red LED lights. It's got dimming and daisy chain functions and a three year warranty. If you'd like to learn more or to purchase one, you can find them at Viperspectra.com. 
I hope you enjoyed this spotlight for the Viper Spectra KS5000. If you did, hit the like button. Find me on Instagram at Rough House Studios and visit roughhousestudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thanks for watching. Bye.